Some people. It's bucking our kitchen. Today I'm cooking some um I'm gonna be cooking some grouper Ed. Some grouper. Um I'm gonna season this grouper up, stuff like that. Get it popping. Get it rocking and rolling. Get some seasoning here. I'm not really gonna overdo it with the seasoning. Put a little black pepper in here. You know? I'll put some all purpose in it. Make it nice and, you know? You know what I'm gonna do. It's a little bit, not too much. See me? Nice and popping. Then I'll put some um, put some garlic in there. Not too much garlic. Appreciate everybody for jumping in. Hit the thumbs up for me. I put some paprika. And I know I put some all-purpose in there, but I'm gonna um. I know I already put all-purpose, but. I'm gonna add some old bay too, you know? I season with feelings, man. I can't, you know, I can't sit here and explain it to you guys. You see me? So that's looking nice right there. Looking nice. Looking nice. <clears throat> and we're just gonna season all of this up and we're gonna let it steam down with some butter. So I'm gonna get the vegetable seasoning, put it in at the same time. See me? Marcus, what's popping, man? Appreciate everybody coming in, checking in. Yeah, I cook some group of head. Put some skelly on the night. Trying to get right up under the, right up under the camera. Give you guys a close up. Put some yellow pepper in there. Long time I don't eat no um no grouper head. I'll put some yellow pepper in it. Some red pepper in it. I'm gonna wash the pepper again. I already washed it earlier, but I'm gonna wash it again. And people, I'm getting I'm putting all this nice seasoning in it, and all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a pot. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter in there and I'm gonna let it nice and slow steam cook. Let it nice and cook by itself, you know? I 
you guys are cutting this stuff. Yeah, I don't gotta be perfect, you know. Just real. Now put that pepper in there. I put all this pepper in. I'm putting the whole pepper in there. Pepper give you a nice. Pepper give you a nice taste, you know. Not too much. I, I, I don't like putting tomato on my stuff. Not too much. No, we're gonna put. Um, I already washed the okra. I'm gonna put some okra in this. I already washed it. I'm just gonna cut these up in like four pieces, you know. Or maybe three pieces. I'm gonna cut these in three pieces. Nice and nice and lovely, you know. Four people in our building, hit the thumbs up for me. And then I'm gonna make some dumpling. I'm gonna show you guys the, um, how to prepare the dumpling, you know, Jamaican style, yardman thing. right there all right so oh, I found one more okra laying around so, so I'm gonna do now okay I got some onion I put some of this onion in there not too much I don't want too much stuff in here you know? not too much <laughs> yo I always say not too much and I end up putting a lot of stuff in my stuff. I always say not too much. That should be that should be one of my hash, hashtags, not too much. Yeah, but we're gonna put some onion in here, not too much, just you know. Just make it nice and decent and you know. Just, just stop when you feel like you need to stop, you know? Not too much. Uh, I say, when you cut your stuff, it don't got to be perfect. It's all about how your food tastes. You know what I'm saying? You got people, they be all matching shit and cutting shit. I don't got time for that. You know? So by taking a look at this um, veggies that I got on top, um, <clears throat> to me, It's looking like it's looking like it need a little wake up call, so I'm gonna throw a little accent on top, right? And then I'm gonna throw some complete season on top, just to wake up the veggies. You get what I'm saying? Just to wake it up a little bit. I don't want this veggie to dominate the seasoning that I put in earlier. You get what I'm saying? So did that and. A bit more all purpose tonight. This is gonna come out nice, trust me. 
I mix this up one time. Mix it up. Yeah. I'm going to show you exactly how I'm cooking this right now. Alright? So. Okay, I'm going to turn my stove on medium high. Right? <laughs> Papa, you trying to scare me, boy? Uh, I'm just looking for a pot. Okay, I found a nice Dutch pot, so here's what I'm going to do. I found a nice Dutch pot, so... I'm going to dry this. I'm cooking this down with some original vegetable oil. You get what I'm saying? That's what I'm cooking it down with. So, Ohio boy trucker, what's popping, man? Everything good? So we're just gonna um make sure the pot is greased at the bottom. You can melt it a little if you want to, right? It's fairly easy, right? All that don't matter. Now we're gonna dump this in here. Looking so nice and low. And just let this just let this cook. Let this cook on um medium high. And just keep your eyes on it. You know what I'm saying? Going right blood. So we're gonna let this cook on medium high, right? Keep your eyes on it. No, I'm gonna um we're gonna get ready to do the dumpling. Right? No. Just washing this thing. I'm gonna cook my dumpling in. Alright. Sure, it is nice and dry. Oh, when you when you're steaming on your fish. You're gonna need to um just add a little bit of water to it. You know what I'm saying? If you look over there, I'm gonna add a little water to it and then I'm gonna close it and let it steam down. You get me? So let's go. Um but don't add too much water.
ఇంట్లో ఉన్నాను making dumpling make sure you don't use the whole bag just in case you mess it up you have some extra to fix it right so I'll sprinkle a little salt tonight not too much I'm gonna use this pot to boil the dumpling in, so I'm just gonna add some water to it and um, let it get going. Shout out to all the truck drivers up in here, man. Appreciate y'all for checking in. So I'm gonna get this water boiling. Sprinkle a little salt in that water. And this meal, it's like a Jamaican meal, you know? It's more like um, a Jamaican meal, you know? I don't see too much American uh, eating um, boiled dumpling. TJ, what's popping? But dumpling is good though, man. You can put in a lot of stuff. You can put in chicken, chicken um, chicken sauce or whatever. I see profit. What's popping? So we're gonna make the dumpling right now. You can add dumplings to soup. You can make like a beef gravy. You can add dumpling to that. You can add dumpling to a lot of stuff, man. And you can rewind this video. Watch the way I make it. Just formulate the dough. You know? At first, it's probably not going to turn out perfect, but if you keep working at it, it's going to get better and better and better. Everybody made their dough um, different, you know? So this dough is kind of tough, so I'm going to put a little bit more water in it, not too much. That's it right there. Damn, that's probably too much. Believe it or not, that might have that might have been too much. Apocalypse in the building was popping, man. I'm here trying to make perfect dumpling, man. Damn. Okay, it looked like it need a little bit more water. So I'm gonna add a little bit more water in it. If you go, if you put any too much water, it's gonna sport, it's gonna mess up. Okay, that's it. That's it. <laughs> there you go. There go your dough. I never made pizza by my. I never made pizza, but I'm pretty sure it's something close to this. But you probably got. It's probably like a. I'm thinking it's probably they probably use like a self-rising flour. You know, this is an all-purpose flour. You know, I like my dough to be 
perfect, man. Uh -huh. So you still look kind of hard. That's what I'm talking about. I appreciate that super chat, Buckless. Appreciate that, bro. Let me show you guys what the fish is looking like right now. Um, so you see, let me show you. So I cook it nice and yeah. It's making its own gravy, even though I added a little bit of water. But um, right now I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit lower. Let me show you guys what I'm gonna do, right? So, see that gravy right there? Nice and. That right there is going to taste so good, all right? So I'm actually going to, I'm going to turn it down a little bit. But believe it or not, fish don't take too long to cook, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, turn this down a little bit. And then I'm going to um, put a little bit of butter on it. I'm gonna let it steam out and you know, I'm gonna let it do, do its thing, you know? So. Patrick, what's popping, man? Over here trying to um cook this meal. You know? You know we like to help ourselves in the kitchen. Yeah, so I'm going to turn this down all the way. So the dumpling is ready. All I got to do is um pour my dough. And you guys should try dumpling. It's really good. It's really good. I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to make it today like how to make it just just um boil a pot of water and do exactly like i did with this and when the when the pot get hot you just put the dumpling in there put the dumpling in the pot give it like 15 minutes and it's cooked you can eat it with any meat i, I recommend eating with a meat with gravy So we're going to boil some green banana. And you know green banana is good for you. So. Oh, you're going to pour St. Lucie, Patrick? So let me tell you. So I washed these banana already. So the way we're going to do it. We're cooking this in the same pot. That we cook in the um dumpling in. so we're gonna cut it like this right boom cut the bottom cut the top right then you're gonna split it you're gonna split it like that right and then you're gonna put it in the hot water now when you finish boiling all you're gonna do 
when it's finished when it's finished boiling, all you're gonna do is peel it and eat it. And after it boils, it's gonna be so easy to peel. You'll see. You'll see. Appreciate the nine people up in here, man. Appreciate the thumbs up, everybody. Um, appreciate the um super chat, apocalypse in the building. Y'all make sure to check out TJ's channel, apocalypse channel. Um, who else? Oh, Jazz Manny, what's popping, bro? I ain't even see you slide up in here, man. What's going on with you? Everything good? We just in the kitchen, man. You know how we do it. Now, I'm going to go in slow motion right now, and I'm going to show you guys how to um, form a dumpling, right? Check on the fish real quick. Yeah, the fish coming along nice and lovely. Trust me. Nice and decent. What I like to do, I like to take a taste of the gravy of the fish. Before I move on, let me show you guys the fish again. Let me show you guys how it's coming along real quick. Nice and lovely. You see that lovely gravy down there? So. So this is why, yeah, yeah, I see profits. Boiled green banana is really good. Trust me. It's like, I think it's like a, I'm not going to say it's a Jamaican thing. I'm going to say it's an island thing because I know people in Dominican Republic, they do it also. Um, I know people in Haiti do it. Um, I'm pretty sure. I know a lot of island people do it so okay so we're going to formulate a dumpling right now right so this is how we're going to do it so you see all right let me start over first after you make your dough just come just do it like this right after you get good at it you do it any way you want to but i'm trying to show you the easy way all right so i do it like this and i can pretty pretty much see how much dumpling i'm gonna make right one two three four five maybe six right so boom i broke off the first piece right so what you want to do now you want to start to form it right bring everything in the middle you're forming it like you see me so after you form it <clears throat> now you got to try to get it perfect so I turn it over and I just shaping it up, make sure it's perfect. And it's simple, go like that to shape it up. Uh -huh. That's pretty much it. Then you put it in the hot water and let it boil.
it's good stuff man trust me so now i'm gonna go back in my um regular fast motion Everybody do this different, you know? Everybody do this different. Shout out to all the truck drivers up in here, man. Yo, this is why I don't have time for the back and forth about OTR and local. I'll be busy, man. I actually be doing things. <laughs> you know? I see Apocalypse, he be at the gym. You know? At the gym at the range. We be busy, man. We got time for it. Jasmine be in the gym. Hitting that gym all day. You know? We're busy people, man. Local truckers are busy people with a life. <laughs> you know? For real, man, we be busy, man. When Florida, when Florida opened back up, Um, no, no, I see profit. Um, uh, I don't know if like other people stuff them, but the Jamaican way of doing dumplings is, is just like the way I'm doing it right now. But I know like, um, I know like the American way they be stuffing it with stuff. And like when you have like, when you see like Chinese dumplings, especially the ones that they put in their soup, sometimes they stuff it with stuff. But this is the way we do our, our dumplings, though. You know, I guess you can call it plain. For real. So that's pretty much it. I'm just going to wait. We just waiting. So we're pretty much waiting for this food to finish. Yeah, for the rest of the month, I'm going heavy cooking, heavy cooking on my channel. I'm going back in, I'm going, I'm getting back in these kitchens, man. Getting back in the kitchen. I've been slipping. Yeah, I've been slipping, you know. Going back heavy cooking, y'all. For real. Yep, we're in the building. Appreciate everybody for coming through. I'm just, it's just, um, it's just a wait and see thing now, you know.
Let me show you guys how we looking in the... Oh, man. Y'all don't want to see this fish. This fish is looking so good, y'all. Let me show you guys. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Looking so nice. Yo, I'm telling you. I am telling you. I see profits. Once you um once you put this gravy here on this dumpling that I'm cooking, boy, boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. That's all I gotta say. I just like to, you don't have to do this, but I just like to make sure I bass my um, fish with this nice and lovely gravy that I got here. You know? Boy, oh boy, oh boy. You just don't know how this is going to go down. Let's see what we got popping for our dumpling. So you see, I got my dumpling and my banana boiling over there. Yup. That's supposed to land in like another 10 minutes. And this meal is gonna land in less than an hour. Quick meal, quick meal. Quick meal, ain't nothing to it but to do it. You know? Yo, we got seven people in the building. Appreciate y'all for coming in. Yeah, we're just in the kitchen doing our thing, you know? In the kitchen doing our thing. Shout out to all the food service drivers up in the building. You know how we do it, man. Yep. Pretty much just waiting for um the food is pretty much done, y'all. That's how quick it takes, you know. So we pretty much just waiting for it to um I'm just waiting on the dumpling, the fish is done. 
And then um, I want to show you guys what my plate looked like before I end this live. You know? What you doing, boy? What's that? Yeah, I want to show y'all what my dumpling look like before I end this live, you know? For real. Got four people in the building. Shout out to all the food service drivers out there. Um, all the over-the-road drivers. Owner-operators. Everybody, man. Shout out to all my new subscribers, all my old subscribers, all subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Bumpy. Yeah. Go we'll call your sister. But why? Why is this? Wait, what? Where you got this, yo? Where, where you got that? Why? Why? Why is this in in the in the house? What is it? Where you got that? Who gonna throw that away? I don't even know what that is. Go throw it away. Then go go wash your hands, bro. Okay, wash your hands. Just wash your hands. Stop touching stuff. <laughs> Kids are always touching stuff, man. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's take another look at this. It's pretty much done, y'all. As I say, this is pretty much done. Grouper head. And I know you guys are probably saying, why the hell are you eating a head? Let me tell you why. I have a lot of meat on it. It's very meat. It tastes very good. You know what I'm saying? We don't eat the same stuff every day. This is my culture. This is the way I grew up. These are the things that we eat. We eat. You know, everybody's different. You know? You should try it. I'm a type of person. I'm willing to try other um, types of food from other different types of country. Stuff like that. You know? I will not try squirrel, though. I won't do that. That is one thing that I think I'm not going to try, you know, try everybody that eats squirrel, but I won't be eating that, you know, I definitely will not be eating that, you know, shout out to Jasmine, I know, um, see, I know us Jamaicans and Spanish people, not cook the same things but we cook along the line of the same type of stuff you know we might not cook it the same way but we cook the same type of stuff so a shout out to all the Spanish people out there you know um, this dumpling is pretty much done this banana is pretty much done don't want to overcook your banana just poke a fork in it boom that's done all right so we're gonna share this food out and I'm gonna let you see how it looks 
then I'm gonna end this live and have my dinner. So let's go. Careful, Papa. Okay? Papa. Yes. Be careful. Okay. All right, so... This is how I'm looking right here, people. This is how I'm looking. Appreciate y'all for watching me. Quick little meal. Time for me to go enjoy this. I see that there. That's how we do it, man. Ain't nothing to it. Appreciate y'all for jumping in. Until next time.